So we're going to be releasing Okeg Bolt version 6.0. The last update we did was version 5. And this update was quite good to an extent. But however, after carefully reviewing most of the activities, I discovered that it might be in our best interest to reduce the amount of complexities on the software. The software was initially created to make things easy for you. So let's assume you have an AdSense account and you have been trying to make money from Google AdSense. You probably have tried other bots. The problem with other bots is that they would bring traffic to your website. They would bring engagement to your website. But after a while, you get suspension, you get banned. So there's so many features we added on OKEG bot was like so many things you could do just to protect you and make things harder for you to get caught. But however, it seems our good intentions were overdone in the sense that we had people using OKEG bots, but they wanted something more easy and straightforward, like something that could just open up their website and figure things by itself. When we told them to create tasks, to create activities and do other things that would make it harder for them to get detected, they feel these things would consume so much time. Now, at the beginning, I had my own decision that I would make OKEG bot very advanced and very robust. If you're not able to learn how to use it, you can go look for those other ones that are cheaper. After all, those other ones that are cheaper, the problem with them is that they would give you traffic but you will never be able to redraw that in it. And that is where their problem is. Let me walk you through my own AdSense account, for instance. Say you head over to my own Google AdSense account. You're going to see that perfectly fine. I don't just aim. I've gotten paid. Not once, not twice, multiple times. My last payment was $27,000. And I keep getting paid almost consistently. It is not because I drive traffic. It's because I drive traffic the way it should be done. If you don't do it properly, you get banned. And this could happen to anybody, even if you're using OKEG bots. So how do you do it properly? Like I said, it took lots of settings and lots of configuration. People were not really ready to go through those configuration. So after carefully considering over and over again, we have decided to create a better OKEG bot. And this is what it would look like. So the new OKEG bot we're going to be releasing would work strictly on a VPS. So for those of us who don't know what a VPS is, a VPS is basically a remote computer. Say for instance, you want to use this OKEG bot, but you do not want to run it on your own computer. Or you have a computer, it's less than 8 gig, or you have a computer, but you don't have consistent internet service. Or you have a computer, but you use this computer for other things. If you fall into any of these options, then this new OKEG bot will be for you. The new OKEG bot will be provided on a server. So this means instead of downloading it on your website, you will just have access to it on a VPS. The new OKEG bot will come in with some little pauses. We're adding pauses this time around because we notice people are getting banned as a result of using bad prosy. Most people would buy this bot only for them to use blacklisted, cheap, or prosies that have no, you know, good authority. Now, in case you don't know, Every prosy is not just a prosy. Prosies differ. Now, what I mean prosies differ, it it's simply means that some prosies are already blacklisted. Some prosies have been abused. Some prosies have been re reported. By reported, I mean some IP addresses are bad. Let me show you what I mean. Say, for instance, I have a VPN over here. I would first of all take you over to whoar.net. When I take it to whoar.net, you're going to see the IP address I'm currently using. My IP address is currently showing that I'm currently in the US. You can see where it says your disguise is 90%. Ignore that. Now, what I want to show you right now is for you to know if this IP address is currently blacklisted. We're going to do it two ways. We're going to first check the fraud score. After checking the fraud score, we're now going to check if it is given a leak. A leak simply means, is there something within this, I'm really sorry, is there something within this IP that would make our whole effort of loading this AdSense get into in vain? Say for instance, you're using a good, a good software, you're doing self-clicking, you're using a good bot. If you use a good bot, but somehow have a very bad IP address, Virtually everything you do will be for no use. 
So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to first take you to the first site. You have been following me before now, you will know it. It's called Scamletics. Scamletics. So what this site basically is, is just a website that you can use to check your fraud score. Say for instance, I'm going to scroll down on Scamletics. You can see where it's saying check IP. So I'll click on it. Now it will check my IP, which is this IP I'm currently using. You can see it's saying high risk fraud, right? It's showing, it's showing high risk. If I scroll down, you can see the details about my IP. This is the person that gave me the IP, the organization over here. You can see the location USA. But now let me off my VPN. I'm going to switch off my VPN. So I'll no longer be using a VPN again. I just switched it off. So I'm going to go back again and I'm going to refresh this page. I'm refreshing it so it will update my latest IP. I'm going to check IP again and you're going to see a different thing. You can see this one is showing green. It's because this IP is kind of safe. So what am I trying to say? If you use a good IP address, basically most of the things, I use Starlink over here. So you can see the Starlink over here. And so you can currently see that it's showing that I'm using Starlink from what you can see here as well. Now I'm going to switch on a VPN again and you're going to, I'm going to change it to some other location and you will likely see that it could be green, it could be red, depending. Now some of this, I'm changing to Canada now. Some of these IP addresses, which you get from Prozis, are usually being shared with other people as well. So because so many people are using that same IP as you, it's making it a bit difficult. So where you're supposed to be enjoying your money from AdSense, just because you're using the same IP thousands of people are using and abusing, after making so much money, your AdSense account will just get banned or suspended. Okay, so I was able to update, I was able to change my VPN again to Canada and I will check the IP address this time around. Okay, you can see this time around, I'm in Canada or it's showing Canada. If I scroll down, you can also see the location here is Canada. And you can also see that this is showing low risk. Now, what am I trying to show you? I'm trying to tell you that the latest OKEK bots, we have a proxy filtration system. So this means that if you put a bad proxy on the latest OKEK bots, instead of allowing you to load your AdSense account only for you to not be in a position where your account is getting banned, it will just tell you that this IP address is banned or this IP address has issues. So whenever you try to use a wrong IP address, it doesn't let you. Now on this other screen, cause I have like multiple monitors here. You can see this is the first monitor and this one, it's like a very wild computer. So on this one over here, I'm trying to pull off a new website. This website is what I would recommend if you want to know if your IP address is good. This IP, this um, um, website will show you if your IP address is safe or if you should not use it. Because most people get to use a bad IP address or a bad proxy only for them to lose their accounts. So let me walk you through the sites. Okay, the name of the site is ipscore.io. So I'm going to go to ipscore.io. Now, basically, I come here for only one reason. To know if my IP address or if my proxy is being detected. So what do I mean by detected? You see where it's saying your IP, not VPN. How did it know I'm using not VPN? Because yes, I'm actually using not VPN, but I will show you how it's new. So let me click here. You can see this is not VPN. I don't know if you can actually see it clearly because I'm recording with the webcam. Yeah, this is not VPN. So not VPN is the IP address I use. And even if my IP score is good, that means even if I have a, a low fraud score, like when I showed you the fraud score, let me show you the fraud score again. Okay, I'm currently using Canada. So let me show you the um fraud score again I'm, i'll go back to an, uh, scam analytics i will show you side by side what you need to learn about this whole adsense game so let's check the ip address you can see the the fraud score is very very low so this means that this ip has not been reported like they have not reported it so much and so it's kind of good right it has low low issues but however it is it is still a data center there are different kind of proxy we have residential proxy we have data center proxy, we have mobile ISP. These are things you would actually learn from watching my videos because data center is not too good. You could use it to watch movies, you could, do it, you could use it to do certain things, but when it comes to loading AdSense or trying to boost your AdSense innings, you shouldn't use data center. Now, also, 
you shouldn't um, you shouldn't use residential proxies that are already um, blacklisted or that has a, a huge fraud score. I will explain what I mean. There are two kinds of uh, IP you should use or proxy. The first one is called mobile ISP. You see this is my mobile phone or this one. This are this is iPhone 13. This is iPhone 13 Pro. So these two iPhones now they have a network in them. The network here is MTN. I have MTN. I have MTN. Now, anytime I connect my data, anytime I own my data, I get an IP address from MTN. MTN gives me IP. Now, help me with the other phone. I also have another phone right here. This is, let me open it. Open the pouch. Move the pouch. No, the pouch, pouch, pouch quickly. Okay. So I already have another phone here. This phone uses Airtel. So this is Airtel. This is an iPhone 12. So this iPhone 12 uses Airtel. This iPhone 13 and this iPhone 13 Pro, it uses Airtel. Good. So it uses MTN. This one MTN, this one MTN. Why this one is Airtel? Now, anything I do on this phone is 100% like legit. It would not give me any problem because it is mobile ISP. It has high integrity. That is because virtually anybody that uses this IP address is somebody that they can trace back. So when huge number of people are using a particular IP address and this IP address can be identified, it's usually like a pass, right? Now, however, anything that looks like a modem, maybe Spectranet if you're in Nigeria, Zoom, Starcoms, Vondafone, um, any anything that is okay even starlink starlink now is a residential right this is starlink starlink is residential so anything that is not what you put on your mobile phone could be what we call a residential i'm um, um, prosy or a residential ip so a residential ip is the kind of ip that you you get on router if you're using a router if you're, i think i should probably use my ipad to describe all these things but what i'm trying to actually explain now is that prosy differs by differ so the latest okay bots would show you precisely if this pros you're using, if it will put you in trouble or if it will be safe. Also, we are also addressing the concern of time zone. For instance, I noticed that people would say, I bought a prosy, the time zone is different from the prosy, I use a rotating prosy, so sometimes it rotates, but then um, it could be in Los Angeles at one point, the next point it could be in some other part of the US. So I want a scenario where the time zone can always update. Now, when we created OKEGBOT or when I created OKEGBOT, I wanted OKEGBOT to be very advanced because this is what I use, right? This is what I use. This is what I use consistently. And so from the way I configured OKEGBOT, it was configured to be able to, you know, in real time, be able to mimic any traffic source. So this simply means that in real time, OKEGBOT should be able to, um, to be able to portray to be any device consistently without any form of issue or challenges. Now, however, where there was a problem was this. If you're putting a time zone, you have to put a time zone that would rhyme with the IP address. So people could not really be able to do this. And why most of them couldn't really do this is, is because a huge number of them was using rotating IPs. So what we have decided to do on the OKEG bot is that if you're buying OKEG bot again, OKEG bot now comes in with a specific IP address. So you can buy IP address directly from us. Instead of buying IP addresses that have high fraud score, instead of buying IP addresses that are probably residential with low quality, you can get good mobile ISP. But should you not want to buy from us, you will still be able to know if the IP you're using is good or not. And it will also clone the direct time zone of the IP. So this update is the latest update on OKEGBOT version 6.0. Now, should you have reasons to want to ask a question? Is there something you would like to learn about loading Google AdSense? Do you want to learn something that, you know, would help you make more money from Google AdSense, but not get you banned? Use the comment section. I'm here to give you a response. So the next time, this is Danny Okeke. Okay.